city installed bypass pumps, pipes, and valves to utilize in the event of an emergency or an act of God. That's one of the things we did at the 2009 point. In 2009, the Bromis constructed over multiple days and it only protected the pump station, which did not prevent flooding from the, of the chemical buildings, the chlorine contact building, filters, and belt press building. The plant's electrical and control system for these buildings and structures has where we destroyed as a result. And they rendered those systems off, off, inoperable for over a month. In, the, in this event, the electrical systems, chlorine cylinders, dechlorination system, and all flooded areas were turned off to avoid damage that was that same damage that was experienced in 2009. In this event, the biological natural occurring bacteria that are used as a treatment process were saved so the system would treat wastewater immediately when it was returned to operation. In 2009, by continuing the pump throughout the entire event, we washed all those bacteria and the food they used out of the treatment plant, causing extended delays in starting up the process. In this event, the plant was operational in three days. In 2009, the plant was at a complete loss for nine days and was not fully operational for a month after that, at least a month after that. 